Hi there, welcome uh, to today's video uh, regarding the test of the new uh, PXE element. The one below with the K on it is the piezo element which we used so far to build our accelerometers. Um, it uh, worked pretty well and it still is working pretty well, but it had some issues with uh, shielding. Shielding in a way that um, the, uh, the round disc is very sensitive to uh, air streams that are um, uh, generated by um, uh, drivers that have a ventilated pole piece, like most base drivers have, most professional base drivers anyway. Uh, so we looked for a solution with a PXE element that um, doesn't have the uh, sensitivity to air. And, uh, which is the ones above. Those are Murata uh, fall sensors, which are originally used in hard disks for shock protection. And uh, what I've done is I've uh, removed uh, the uh, PXE element from the piezo disk from the uh, accelerometer. And um, you can see where the, uh, the old um, PXE element was. It's desoldered, and now I've got two of these uh, Murata shock sensors uh, uh, soldered uh, onto the place where uh, formerly the uh, the uh, PXC, the uh, piezo element was. And um, I'm very happy with the results. So I'm going to show you what happens when we use these new shock sensors. There are MEMS uh, sensors. Uh, there's a cavity inside with a very small uh, um, piezo element. And the biggest advantage is, is that it's uh, completely shielded. It's a um, ceramic uh, package in uh, SMD uh, service mount technology uh, packaging. So it uh, also allows for uh, uh, mass production. Whereas the, uh, the old uh, solution with the uh, piezo disc also involved uh, a lot of handwork. So let's uh, have a look at the uh, the frequency response or what it does when it's hooked up in a uh, little one uh, system. Uh, so, okay, let's feed it some noise. Again, this is the um, This is the uncorrected response. So without the uh, feedback active, and I'm gonna turn it up now. So you can see we have a nice bump here, which is uh, uh, around 100 Hertz, which is the natural fall off of the uh, little one closet, a little lower, but there's a step filter that uh, puts a bump in there. So we have some room for correction. So let's see what happens with, when I turn up the correction. The little bump at 50 hertz here is because I've got a shielding problem. The uh, first series of little ones didn't use shielded cabling for the uh, piezo element, which is the little 50 hertz there. But the most important thing is that the uh, resonance of the piezo, which sets here around 6K, is completely gone. So it's a nice uh, uh, 24 dB uh, uh, curve here which is the fourth order filter. And um, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. It's uh, almost 20 dBs feedback. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.